Hey, what is going on guys? So in this video, I'm gonna try something new. We're gonna find out what happens if you put a bunch of electricity through a candle flame. So to supply the large amount of voltage I need to do this experiment, I'm gonna be using this taser I mounted to an umbrella in a previous video. So if you wanna see the video where I made this, um, I'll link this down below, it's pretty cool. It's just basically a secret taser inside an umbrella. It just opens up and uh, you can shock stuff with it. So I just clipped the wires so I've got two leads, and when I turn this on, electricity will jump between these two wires. So I also have these two clamps right here that I'm gonna hook the wires into um, so we can stretch them across the candle flame to keep them in position so we can see what happens. So I've got the two wires hooked up at a distance of about two inches apart from each other, but uh, I've got the candle in the middle, so the electricity will have to jump across, and um, we'll see what happens. But first, let's just try sparking it up without the candle. Um, so this is the distance the electricity will travel without the candle. As you can see, it doesn't travel more than maybe a centimeter before the electricity is not strong enough to jump the gap and uh, it won't spark. But the really cool thing is, is if we move the candle in between the two leads and light it up, here's what happens. So as you can see, the fire kind of flattens out and gets pulled to each lead, like it's trying to connect them. And if we move the wires just slightly closer, we can actually get full-on sparks that'll jump from one lead to another across the candle. And these sparks are jumping a much farther distance than they could without the candle. So how is this happening? Well, it actually turns out that the hot gas of the flame actually contains positive charged ions and electrons. Um, this kind of moves in the same way as ions in water. Now, although the ion density in candles is actually pretty small, there are, however, enough of them to be able to conduct electricity and facilitate the arc jumping from lead to lead. And the reaction when passing a large voltage of electricity across a flame is pretty cool. So I hope you guys did like this experiment. Um, I had a lot of fun filming it, and I learned something new. It uh, turns out that fire is actually conductive. Hope you liked this video. If you did, drop a like, and also uh, leave your ideas of uh, cool experiments and um, stuff you want to see me try down in the description. So um, that's uh, pretty much all I've got for this one, guys, and I will catch you in the next video.